Hey everyone, Bison video blog, post-game show from the Summit League Championship game. South Dakota State heading back to the NCAA tournament, winning an 11th league tournament championship, 67-54 to over North Dakota State. With Jeff Kolpak and Mike McKeeley from the Forum, Dom Izzo from WDAY. The Bison had their opportunities in this game, gentlemen. Actually, it was a mm. one-point game midway through the fourth quarter. I'll go even go earlier than that, Jeff. The Bison had numerous opportunities. South Dakota State had eight first quarter turnovers to really get some separation and just couldn't make a basket early and, on. And South Dakota State still led after the yes. first quarter, 11-10. Yeah. And I just made mental notes and actually wrote it down that uh, wasted chances no doubt. and stuff like that comes back to haunt you. It's, you know, it's it just, uh, they had their chance to go up 6, 8, 10. And I think what you wrote in your, your call, Mike, that um, it was a chance to put some doubt, really, yeah, in the Jackrabbits. Just, just and take just the crowd out of the happen. game. Yeah. Totally take the crowd out yeah. of the game. And it was obviously a partisan big crowd for South Dakota State for this home game for them. Um, but, yeah, I mean, if they could have got up by eight points, just see how the Jacks respond. Yeah. I, mean, I, yeah. I thought SDSU looked tired. They looked tight, Kind of discombobulated early yeah. on. Mm -hmm. and NDSU was playing some really fierce defense early on. Yeah. They couldn't get the ball to Brooklyn Meyer, kept turning it over. And NDSU just could not wow. finish shots. South Dakota State plays really good defense as well. They know NDSU like the back of their hand. Yep. Uh, but NDSU just needed to make a three. They needed to make a layup. They needed to do something. Yeah. Just never could. Eight minutes in that second quarter without Ooh. a point. I mean, that, that alone told the story of the game along with a few other points that happened in the fourth yep. quarter. And well, and yet, like you guys yeah. said, middle of the fourth quarter, it was a one-point game. Yeah. And so they, they fought back. The they, they fought back in a hostile environment against a team that's probably better than they are, you know, a team they haven't beat for like 106 years in a big game, yeah. and they had it down to yep. a one-point game and then a couple of awful turnovers, yeah. and that just turned all the momentum. Yeah, I mean, it's 47-41. The place is going nuts. The Jacks finally think they got a little separation. Then mm -hmm. Hamlin goes on a mini 5-0 run and quiets it, and then two really critical turnovers from L. Evans cost the game there. Yeah, I mean. and, and Bison had the ball, and, and, the, and the crowd was out of the yeah, game. Yeah, really, at, at, that at that point, point they really were. Uh, just, uh, I, I think, and I go back and you look at this big picture, I think you got to get to this tournament before you win this tournament. And I'm, I mean the championship, the championship game. game. Mm -hmm. you got to get to that moment. Now they know, okay? Now they know that, and it's different. I mean, it's a different environment. Yeah. It, it, it's for all the marbles. Uh, maybe, I mean, they shot 33% the Bison. Are you a little tight, too? I mean, yeah. is it? Oh, I, I think there's no yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they, certainly there. In, the, in this tournament, NSU did not shoot the three well, and they're mm -hmm. one of the best three-point shooting yep. teams in the country, and they were not good no. from deep. No, that certainly seemed that all three games, from the Denver game right, that's what to I yesterday said. with yeah. Oro Roberts. Yep, just it just yeah. out four of, of 18 yesterday. Out of, yep. out of sorts on that. I will say they found, I think, another really nice young player in Avery Kuhn, and I thought she had a really nice tournament, especially the last two games. She did, and today she came up big when they really yeah. needed her, when L. Evans was struggling, yep. Heaven Hamling didn't quite get going until Abby the fourth Draper quarter. Abby Draper yep. just wasn't there. Yep. Uh, Avery Kuhn kind of saved their bacon yep. for a while. She yep. took the ball in the post, went strong to the hole, made some layups, yep. got fouled. Did the things a, a player needs to do yeah. in a tournament like this, and she's a true freshman. And so there's there's some big yeah. things ahead for her. I'm interested, you know, Jory Collins. The question you asked him said, "Yep, we know what we got to do. We like what we got coming in. I'm that we got to get back here. This is the expectation, and that's the challenge now. Now they've done it once. That that was the story we all talked yeah. about. Was they made history? They got here. Now the real challenge is to try and do it and then get over the hump. And I got to be honest with you, South Dakota State might be even better." Next oh, season. they will be better no. next year. They, they have their injured players returning, All plus back. they have four recruits coming yeah. in who are very highly touted. And so the Jackrabbits aren't going any place, no. so it's going to be up to NDSU to get better than South yep. Dakota State. Yep. South Dakota State's not coming back to them. No. They're going to have to get better. Yeah. I know that Jory likes the, his recruiting yep. class as well. Replacing Heaven Hamlin is going to be really hard. She, she's the heart and soul of this yep. program. Well, uh, but yeah. but they're they're going in the right direction. Yeah, right? remember it was a 2018. They didn't even make this tournament. No, yeah, yeah I mean, correct. That's, that's all yeah. bad. Uh, they got the length now, okay. But now yeah. you need the strength. Yeah. And I think South Dakota State, their players are just stronger, mm. and they always have been stronger. Yep. And but you know, like Kuhnen, not just a freshman, you got to get a little stronger yeah. now. Yep. If you're going to face go up against Brooklyn Meyer, yep. you got to get a little stronger. Uh, you know, Dr Abby Draper continue that development. Uh, you know, Mariley Simon, yep. you got to continue that development and, and, the, and, and some of these younger players coming in. So it's there. It, like, it, I mean, but you don't get stronger in no, three days. I, but no. I'll say this. I remember a few years ago coming to this tournament when South Dakota was also really cooking. And I looked at some of the athletes South Dakota had and went, whoa, yep. this isn't even the same game they're playing with North Dakota State. 
Same with the Jacks. You look at the athletes yeah. they have, just strong, thick, good athletes, and went, wow, yeah. NDSU isn't close to that. Now they're a little closer. Yeah. They still need to get bigger and stronger, like Jeff said. Then the ballpark now. But, but they're yeah. closer, and yeah. they, they have some athletes on the floor that can go. And Al Evans is, is as good an athlete as anybody else that yep. South Dakota State has. They just need more of them. Right. They just need about three or four yeah. more if they're going to yep. get in the ball game. But once again, gentlemen, we're here, and I don't think we can do this without – Remarking, I know you got a comment on this, and I'll go. We talked about it yesterday. Yeah. It's South Dakota State beating the Bison again. I think, and that's it's it's every sport that's out there. The Jackrabbits have have done it again. Yeah, I mean, here we are. What a half hour after the game, yeah. I got a couple emails yeah. from fans, and yeah. and they're tired of it. Yeah, they are tired of getting yeah. boat raced. I mean, and then this wasn't so much a no. boat race, but they're tired of getting beaten Beat. soundly. Yeah in all sports by the Jackrabbits. Yeah. I mean, and like get better then, right? But that's the whole thing, Mike. I mean, we've talked right. about it from football to men's basketball, certainly, and, and women's basketball hasn't even been a contest over no. the last 15 wrestling, years. No, yep. wrestling, softball. It's, baseball, I mean, I know the three the big sports yeah. are the ones that yeah. we cover yeah. most, but, but South Dakota State has passed NDSU. Yeah. And I, you know, I know that people in the administration and even some of the coaches get upset with us when we say that, but the facts are the facts. Right. The evidence is the evidence. The, res the results are there. I, I mean, right. I, you yeah. know, I mean, South Dakota State's yeah. football team has two straight national championships yeah. and has won, what, five straight games or whatever against the football them, yeah. team. SDSU's basketball team, clearly better than NDSU's basketball team. SDSU, the women are closer, but SDSU yeah. is still the team going yeah. to the NCAA tournament. I mean, you, you can't argue. No. And at what point is it, you know, you got to spend more yeah. money. Yeah. You gotta, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. You got to get better athletes. Right. Get better yeah. athletes. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, for those wondering, North Dakota State still has a chance to play another game. They'll find out Sunday night. Obviously, the selection show for the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament at 7 o'clock. The WBIT, the newly created tournament that's funded by the NCAA, will take the next 32. The Bi we were checking, gentlemen, before the Bison are right around the 100 mark in the, in the net rankings. Yep. They played a tough schedule, they won 21 games. I don't know if that's going to be enough to get in. We don't really know the criteria for this event. Yeah. If they don't get there, the WNIT is a possibility. But, Jeff, that's one you got to pay to get in. I know there, there might be some resistance to that, but I can tell you Oral Roberts and South Dakota are going to play, and they finished behind the buys, and it would look weird if any issues not playing another game. Yeah, I know. The WNIT, it seems like a – well, now that's, uh, the, third, right, that's consolation. the third. Right, that's the third tier yeah. tournament now. I yeah. think, yeah, you want to get in that WBIT. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and you know, and, and actually, it's another week of practice, yep. right? Another week to, for these young players. I know if Jory Collins wants to keep playing. We'll see. Well, I, I'll, I'll say this: is I, I don't. It doesn't seem if you look at at it on the surface like NDSU is going to be one of those thirty-two Probably teams not. to make yeah. the WBIT. That's going to be totally. Let's look at television markets <laughs> and see how we can <laughs> right. get. You know, yeah. and that's yeah. fine. And and yeah. fan following. Goes. That's yep. fine. That's the way it goes. Yep. The WNIT, though, do you want to be a competitive women's basketball program in the Summit League, or do you not? Right. Jory Collins wants to. Yep. We're talking about, okay, NDSU is sick of losing to SDSU and everything. Pony up the 50 grand. Go play. Go play. Yep. Yep. I mean, reward your athletes. Yep. You tell them how great they are yep. and how much they mean to the university. Right. Pay the tab. And they won 21 get, games. Get them to, a, right? get them to the tournament. Yep. See if we, who you match up yeah, with. Take a yep, chance. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, what's maybe what's what's fifty grand yeah. in today's college well, basketball? Yeah. WNIT. World. Maybe you make a run in there yeah, too. Right. I mean, you know, you have yeah, no because idea. there's going to be thirty-two better right. teams in the and WBIT. The other, and the other tournament, right? So it's going to be the Oral Roberts and South Dakotas in the WNIT. You beat those teams, so yeah. We'll see what happens. We'll know come Sunday night if the Bison are playing another game. Great job as always, gentlemen. A lot of fun down here in Sioux Falls. As South Dakota State off again. For the second year in a row, they do not lose a game to a Summit League opponent, whether it's in the regular season of the conference tournament. A remarkable uh, stat that they've done over the last two years. For Mike McFeely and Jeff Colback, I'm Dom Izzo. Bison video blog wrapping up things here in Sioux Falls.